on this episode of Chopped Ink, how to drop spindles. Welcome back everybody. Uh, I've got some parts in for this old girl. Uh, I've got the uh, flip kit. My flip kit. To go on the back. And uh, also got the drop spindles for the front. I just you know, put it all inside. Got the drive shaft in. Got the radiator. So uh, I've got a little bit of time today. So let's see how much we can get done. Let's do it. First step, wheels off, success, no complication. Anyway, next step, we'll uh, blow off all the uh, dust and goodness, then take the brake caliper off and we'll hang it so we don't stretch the line, then we'll take the hub off and then uh, we'll do the upper and lower ball joints and then hopefully not die when the spring comes shooting out but we won't do that we'll leave the nut on when we break the ball joint loose and slowly release it okay that's the best way to do it Brake caliper off, uh, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I just use a couple of zip ties, hold up there. Uh, next, we'll take the hub off. So here's a little handy tip if you're uh, concerned about dropping it, especially working in the dirt. Um, get yourself a little screwdriver, hook it in, undo it. What's going to happen is it can fall on a screwdriver. You grab it and you put it where you need to go. Next thing is when you pull on the hub, make sure you hold the bearing because that will fall out in the dirt. and Then you got to clean it and repack it, so that's not... It's not fun, so let's give it a little wiggle. It should just come out and we'll just hold the bearing. There we go. There's a seal on the back that holds the other bearing in so it doesn't go anywhere. Just the front one. Okay, next we're going to take up the dust cover. Um, pretty easy, just three bolts. And, uh, and it'll just come out and we'll reattach it to the, to the other spindle. So this next step is the uh, step that can bite uh, and take bits of your extremities off. So uh, do these, do the nuts up, like, you know, a few threads, top and bottom. So when it does separate, it doesn't fly everywhere. It just stops, and then you can put a jack on the bottom and uh, slowly let it down. So let's do that. Hold tight. Hopefully there'll be no carnage. Oh, not so bad. Not so bad. Let's get the jack on and uh, we'll loosen it down slowly. Okay, just for some people that are just not quite sure how a drop spindle actually works, 
as you can see you know they're basically the same slightly little different design but uh, try to keep the same geometry but what they do is they they put the spindle further up you can get them different sizes this is uh, I think two and a half or three inch further up but you can get them you know one inch or one and a half two and three so that's basically how it is you can see side by side factory and then obviously drop so that's how it is let's uh put it in make sure it all fits so when you take the old spindle out um, leave the jack don't touch the jack and then just lift this up pull the old spindle out and then we'll do the same thing lift it up put the new one in and then we'll just start the process in reverse so hang tight and watch the uh, the ball joints kind of look crusty but they're actually you know fairly tight and uh, not moving around so they're I'm gonna keep those until we have a problem at some point fixing what ain't broken so hang tight let's do it one side done uh, I'm not gonna show you doing both sides it's the same but don't want the other side so uh, here it is all done so just don't forget to put the split pans on the bottom uh, I didn't show that but don't forget to do that okay <laughs> 